Hello, T-Bill fans. I hope you're doing well. So it seems there's a fair bit of confusion around Treasury bill pricing, interest, and rates. So in today's video, I'm going to answer the top three questions I've gotten in just the past week alone on these topics. How does the pricing and interest on T-bills work? What's the difference between the investment rate and the high rate at T-bill auctions? And how does the calculation for new issue 52-week T-bills differ and why? I know each of you are at a different stage of your financial journey with T-bills. So feel free to skip ahead to the section that's most relevant to you. I've included timestamps below. Now, if you're completely new to T-bills, you should know that new issue treasury bills are new batches of treasury bills that the U.S. government sells directly to investors via their auction process, ones that are not already floating around for sale in the secondary market. Those of you who've been on this channel for a while know that I generally prefer buying new issue T-bills at auction instead of buying already issued older T-bills in the secondary market. This is because participating in the auction for new T-bills is typically the least expensive and also relatively easy to do. More on that later. T-bills are sold at a discount to par value and the interest earned is equal to the T-bill par value minus the discounted purchase price. If you have no idea what that means, that's fine. Just stick with me here. It'll be all clear very soon. Most banks and or brokers require a minimum purchase order of $1,000 for T-bills. For the purposes of this video, let's assume you're buying from Treasury Direct, which has a minimum purchase order of $100. So say that you put in an order to buy $100 of four-week T-bills with Treasury Direct. That $100 is the par value. What you would actually pay for that $100 par value of T-bills would be less. Let's say you pay $99.721556. That's your purchase price. This is what we mean when we say that T-bills are sold at a discount to par value. And if you're wondering why I chose this odd price here, it's because I'm using a real life example of the most recently auctioned four week T-bill at the time of this taping. Now, moving on to how the interest on T-bills works. Assuming you hold these T-bills to maturity, so the entire four weeks, what you would get back after the T-bills mature in four weeks is this $100 par value. Subtract out the original purchase price of $99.721556 and this 0 0.278444 difference, that's the interest earned on your four week T-bills. And yes, with this method, T-bills only pay interest at maturity. So how does this 0.278444 of interest translate into this 3.640% investment rate on Treasury Direct's page of recent auction results? And what does this investment rate actually represent? So some of you may have seen our quick treasury auction result videos on the channel, like this one here. Hello, T-Bill fans. It's November 10th, 2022, and here's the latest treasury auction news. The four week auctioned off at an investment rate of 3.640%. The investment rate of 3.640% that I quoted in that short T-Bill video that I just showed you was based on the four week T-Bill example we just went through in the previous section which is also the same as this one here on Treasury Direct's page of recent auction results. This investment rate is quoted on an annualized basis, meaning that it's been adjusted to reflect a rate based on a full year, 365 days this year to be exact. This investment rate assumes that on day one, you buy this four week T-bill at a purchase price of $99.721556. To calculate the annualized rate, you then assume that on day 28, when the T-bill matures, you reinvest the proceeds from this four-week T-bill into an identical four-week T-bill at the same purchase price as on day one, and keep reinvesting for a full 365 days, 
always into a new issue with exactly the same yield. Now, it's highly unlikely that when your T-bill matures, you'll be able to reinvest the proceeds into an identical four-week T-bill at the same price as on day one. But the reason for doing this, for quoting the investment on an annualized basis, is so that you can make an apples-to-apples -apples comparison between your T-bill investment and other investment opportunities, like a CD, for example. And because this question comes up so often, here's what this investment rate does not mean. It doesn't mean that if you bought this four-week T-bill, you would earn 3.640% over the four-week period if you hold the T-bill until maturity. Now, let's see how we actually calculate this 3.640% annualized investment rate based on the illustration from the earlier section on how interest on T-bills works. Here's the total interest earned number that we'll be using. Take the total interest earned on your four-week T-bills, this number here. Divide it by the number of days your T-bills will be held, which in this case is 28 days because it's a four-week T-bill. This gets you to the amount of interest earned per day. Now, multiply by 365 because we need to annualize it, and there's 365 days this year. This gets you to the theoretical amount of interest earned per year. Now divide by the original purchase price. And here's the annualized investment rate. Same as you see here on the Treasury Direct site for this four-week T-bill. One very important thing to note about this investment rate calculation is that it only applies to T-bills with a maturity of 26 weeks or less. The investment rate calculation for the 52-week T-bill is a bit different. We'll go through what that looks like and why shortly. So that was the investment rate. Let's move on to the high rate calculation now. When you calculate the high rate that you see on the Treasury auction results page, which in the case of our four-week T-bill example, is this 3.580% here. The first three steps are exactly identical to how you would calculate the investment rate. Take the total interest earned on your four-week T-bills, this number here. Divide it by the number of days your T-bills will be held, which in this case is again 28 days because it's a four-week T-bill. This gets you to the amount of interest earned per day as before in the investment rate example. Step four is where things change. Instead of multiplying by 365, you multiply by 360 days. More on why later. And as with the investment rate calculation before, this gets you to the amount of interest earned per year. Now divide by the original purchase price. And here's the high rate. Again, same as you see here on the Treasury Direct site for this four-week T-bill. So why does the high rate use 360 days in the denominator instead of 365 days? Well, without diving into the weeds, all you need to know for the purpose of this video is that bond traders, for some of their calculations, assume that there's 30 days in every month, times 12, and there's your 360 denominator for the high rate. They then use this 360-day system to measure how much interest accrues over time so that they can accurately calculate the interest accrued and therefore the price of debt securities that they are buying or selling between two coupon payment dates or in the case of T-bills before maturity since that's when interest is paid. A few more noteworthy points about the various interest rates for T-bills. The high rate is also sometimes called the discount rate by the treasury and they use it in running their auctions. However, remember that you can't use the high rate or discount rate to compare the rate of return on a T-bill with other instruments because it's calculated on a 360 day basis. The investment rate on the other hand is annualized and calculated on a 365 day basis or 366 days in a leap year as we went through earlier. And this is what you can use to compare T-bill yields with other instruments that you invest your money in. 
For this reason, the treasury sometimes also calls it the coupon equivalent yield. So that solves the mystery of the high rate versus investment rate for new issue T-bills with a maturity of 26 weeks and under. Now let's move on to how the calculation for new issue 52-week T-bills differs and why. Most treasury securities pay interest or compound interest twice a year. This has no impact on T-bills with a maturity of 26 weeks and under, as they never reach an age where they would start compounding. However, the investment rate calculation for new issue 52-week T-bills is a bit different because we do have to account for the semi-annual compounding in the same manner that the yields on longer term treasury notes and bonds do. Here's the treasury direct formula on how to calculate the coupon equivalent yield, basically the investment rate for bills of more than one half year to maturity, meaning anything with a maturity longer than the 26 week T-bill. This is the basic formula in a nutshell, where P is the T-bill purchase price paid at auction. R is the days to maturity, which for a 52 week T-bill is 364. Y is the days in a year, which is typically 365. If you're buying in a leap year, that number would be 366. And I is the investment rate. The important thing to note here is that this first part of the basic formula calculates the yield, the investment rate, for one half of the year. With this calculation here, adjusting for whether you're buying in a normal 365 day year or in a 366 day leap year. And this second part of the formula calculates the yield or investment rate for the other half of the year. And the yield from this first part of the formula is multiplied by the yield from the second part of the formula in order to account for the semi-annual compounding, as I mentioned earlier. As you can see here, in order to calculate the coupon equivalent yield, the investment rate, which is I in this basic formula, there are a few steps in between. I've linked this treasury document below for those of you who are interested in exploring this further. Treasury Direct outlines the steps and calculations in a fairly straightforward manner, but there are quite a few variables and a good amount of detail to keep track of. So I would suggest pulling out your Excel or Google sheet rather than trying to do this on your phone's calculator, especially if you're not a quadratic equation lover. All right, super savers. I hope this video has given you more clarity around new issue T-bill pricing, interest, and rates. If you're fairly new to T-bills, then make sure to check out this video here on the other basic facts you need to know before diving into a T-bill investment. And if you're all pumped up with T-bill knowledge and ready to buy your first T-bill at auction, then check out our T-bill playlist here. I have videos showing you how to buy from Treasury Direct, Fidelity, Schwab, and a number of other major brokerage companies. As always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up and See you again soon with another exciting wealth building video.